Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy, and in this tutorial I will show you how to create haptic feedback for your VR game. Sometimes it's just called rumble or vibration of that controller. So I am in VR template from Unreal Engine, you can create it from Launcher. And I am using version 4.26, which is first of the problems actually, because main thing that you need for haptic feedback is curve of that feedback. And you can actually find it in this project. So let's find here haptic. And it should give us this motion controller haptics. But the problem is that you can't really create it in newer versions of Unreal Engine. I think that's everything from 4.25 up. So if you want to use it in any other project that doesn't start with this one, for example, the VR expansion plugin or something like that, what you have to do is to right click on this feedback, set it to asset action and migrate it to your new project. It should migrate without any problem. Just remember, you always have to put it in content folder of your project. Then you can simply right click on it, duplicate it and create as many curves as you want. Let me open that and see how that works. If you op if you click on that, you can see that you can basically set up here how you want your haptics to react. For example, in this case, it will start on zero, which means zero rumbles, zero vibrations. Then it will quickly in half a second go into one and then it will go down again so let's use that and let's actually duplicate it and create here another one and let's say that i want to change it a little bit i want to add key here and add key here and these two keys let's set to values of one and this one set to value to zero which means that it will quickly vibrate twice and it's probably a good idea to set same setting here in amplitude and because i want it to be much smoother let's right click on that and switch it to auto all right that's cool so now we have two different curves for your haptics now you of course want to somehow play it and in def default it will play every time your hand will overlap with anything that it can pick up you can see that in your pawn actually it will be in motion controller but let's use pawn if you open your vr pawn you can see that on start of the game it will spawn bp motion controller which basically which basically works as your hands so let's look into bp motion controller and we should find here exactly this rumble controller if you right click on it you can find where it is played so somewhere if you have, there should be find references and you can find here plenty of examples where it is used and it's usually well commented so i would recommend you to look into that if you are interested in it now now if you just look into that node you can see that it's simple node with play haptic effect and you can change here what kind of curve you want to play and of course you need to set up what kind, what hand it should play from and of course there is this thing which is set as scale and that's basically why i said that scale in curve is not that important or intensity because we are setting it here again because right now if i set it to 10 it will be 10 times as intensive as it was in there it will just use that frequency that we set up in curve and you can of course set it to looping but be careful here because it can drain battery quite a lot and i found that it actually creates a lot of bugs so be careful there so what we will do is to kind of reward this rumble controller because we want to be able to call it from other objects so let's say that i will i don't know what kind of haptic effect i want to use so let's connect this thing also here and we will be able to choose it every time we cast it uh, we cast it and it's probably i don't think that you need to get player controller every time what you can simply do is to get rid of this casting because you will be already casting to your player or you can create a blueprint interface that's a probably a smarter choice what you can do is on event begin play is take this and promote it to variable so it will happen only once for the first time when you start the game it will create this variable and it will create for us player controller reference so let's call it player controller ref and we can simply connect this thing here it should be a bit less expensive so why i am doing it in this motion controller is mainly because of this hand because it would be kind of hard to set and figure out what hand you are using to pick it up especially with this kind of event pickup because you don't really have that from here all right and in case that you wanted to use that loop you will also need to have uh, something that will stop it so you can off uh, again take it from player controller and by the way if you wanted to create this play haptic effect you can't really do it right here if you just try to find here play haptic effect oh, you will have only play the haptic pattern which is something else don't use that and also don't use steam vr haptic effect uh, feedback if you are making it for oculus quest it's not gonna work i tried it <laughs> So you will have to disable context sensitive menu and that will find play haptic effect. So from here you can take your target and set it to get player controller 
or you can of course use that reference and set here haptic effect blah 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 and other thing if you really wanted to set it to loop you will have also need to find here stop haptic effect all right that's about it i hope that you learned something i know that this system of setting up haptic effects is not really ideal and hopefully they will find a better solution for that in unreal engine 5 especially with that migrating but hey that's that's what we have now so i would probably recommend you to create that in your pawn or in your motion controller because you will have to figure out what kind of hand you are using for left right blah 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 it's a bit complicated if, as you have seen so that's about it if you are interested in stuff that i do in vr somewhere here is my instagram and of course thank you to everyone on patreon that's about it see you around surfancy out